Hello everyone and welcome to Spiceworks Tutorials. In this tutorial we're going to see how we can add application events to Spiceworks dashboard. This demo is based on anti-backup but basically you can use any application that reports uh, events to the event log. Any Spiceworks version is good to follow this tutorial and you'll also need the manager overview plugin and I've added a link to this plugin as well. So let's get started. The first step in adding application event to Spiceworks dashboard is by making sure that Spiceworks actually pick those events up during scans. To do that, we're going to click on the help desk menu, then on settings. And we're going to scroll a bit down we see the event logging section and we're going to click on that. Now for the purpose of this tutorial I'm going to add events 8000 to 8019 to the include list. Those events are triggered by anti-backup as part of the backup process. Once we've added all these events to the list. Let's run a network scan for our server or servers. I'm going to display. Um, I'm going to display this on a single server, and make sure that uh, Spiceworks pick the events up during the scan. So I'm going to fast forward the scan, and as soon as it's done, let's use the search box to search for a server and let's go to the events tab scroll a bit down until we see the anti backup events listed so now we know that Spiceworks will actually pick the event up and we can move on to the next step which is creating the report that will display the events on the dashboard. So to do that, let's click on Help Desk, then click on Reporting, and we will click on New Report. Let's call uh, let's call this report um, Backup Logs, and we will also add a description, a report for displaying anti backup logs on dashboard. And I'm also going to select to create the report using SQL and we will see later why this is important. To save time, I've already written the code for this report. I'm simply going to paste it here. And don't worry, you will be able to find a link to this report just under the player for this tutorial. Note that this report is set to display only events that the log date matches the current date. But you can easily modify the code to add more days simply by modifying the query. Also note that I have specified anti-backup as the source of the events since the same event codes can be triggered by other applications as well. Now that our report is ready, let's click Save and Run and see the information it returns. So we now have a report that displays anti backup event log from our server. Let's put it to the test and see how it looks on our dashboard. As we said in the beginning of this tutorial, we will need the Manager Overview plugin installed to add the report to our dashboard. We need this plugin because the method we are covering in this tutorial uses the same principle as the Manager Overview plugin. It's basically a widget that displays a report. The only difference is that we are using different report this time. So, let's go to the Extension Manager, click on Manage Extensions, and we will simply duplicate the Manager Overview plugin by clicking on the Source button. We'll select all the code and copy it then we're going to close this window and create a new plugin 
let's call it backup logs and we will also add a description saying that this is a plugin for displaying anti backup logs on the dashboard Now we need to edit the plugin code and we will paste the original manager overview plugin code and simply change the report name, label and source report to match our backup logs report. As we save and close the plugin editor, Spiceworks will ask us if we want to add the new widget to our dashboard. Let's choose to edit and go to our dashboard to test the result. As you can see the report is shown, so does the data, the events but this is not too sexy it takes too much space it's not clear enough event information is spread over multiple lines this this is not good enough in order to get a better result we are going to edit our report so let's go back to the report section click on the edit button next to our report and modify the code a bit in order to display the data in a more friendly version Again, I've written the code in advance, so I'm simply going to paste it here. But if we will examine the code together, we can see that I've used the substring function of uh, SQL to display only a subset of the full message returned by the event. And this is the reason why I've said in the beginning of this tutorial that we will need to build our report using SQL. Let's put our report to the test by clicking the Save and Run button. And as you can see, uh, the message column now shows only the first 25 characters of the uh, full event details. That should be enough. And by going back to our dashboard, we see that the result now is much, much better. We have the event date, time, source. This is the machine that triggered the event, uh, event ID type, and so on and so forth. And the most important thing is that now everything fits into a one single line per event because we trimmed the full message so it looks much much better on the dashboard and of course since this is basically an sql report you can further customize it any way you want whether it be a different application event ids etc